What's going on, guys? Just got back from the gym. Going to go do some punching later. All that bullshit. So, so, I have to wiggle the mouse and do some meetings and all that bullshit. I just got paid again. Uh, I'm going to get paid again soon. And then I'm going to get paid again after that. And I'm going to keep on getting paid. And it's going to go every... I should have it set up to where every week, I'm either going to get one paycheck. Or every two weeks, I'm going to get two paychecks. So, we're about to hit critical mass. Okay? And the fact, oh, I didn't say anything. The stupid hack hit me up again last night. She matched with me again on Tinder and then pivoted to talking to apps and all that bullshit. Okay, whatever. We're still doing this bullshit. I'm pretty sure Stephanie's number is in my net hunter that I was using that the battery died and I got the battery to replace it, but just never replaced it. So I actually might have to dig around for that and replace that and fish out your old number. But assuming you still have it. But look. From my point of view, this is what happened, okay? And I'm pretty sure that on my very first YouTube channel, uh, look, I hate to say it like this, but the reason why I was even doing anything with any of the e-thoughts, aside from the fact that it was, I can't go into it until 2040, part of my job, I don't, we'll just say that. Like, I literally showed some of them what I was doing. I'm pretty sure that I was so drunk that I was telling Tiffany what I was doing that I shouldn't have, because according to their rules, if you tell someone what's going on and then they do it anyways, it's their karma, not your karma. So if I wear a dorky looking suit and all that bullshit and I tell you some real ass shit and you all think I'm just some dorky looking motherfucker in a suit with a fucking hanky and all that bullshit and then you don't take it s seriously, that's your fault, not my fault. I told you. That's your rules, isn't it? That's called infiltration. All right? Anyways. So told you i'm just trying to get into it. i'm one of the best social engineers in the world that's what they tell me i don't i don't give a fuck that's what they tell me okay anyways so from then tiffany immediately when i like me and her like fooled around and all that bullshit we'll, we'll, we'll just call it that i don't want to give her details out but look seriously do you want to know why I, look everyone thought i wanted to like make friends and didn't know anyone because at the first night for freedom, I was going around having a great time. At all the other night for freedoms, I just stood there and just like looked around because I was trying to find the hot Asian bitch. I met the first one. Stupid fucking hag. Anyways, so from my point of view, what happened was night for freedom one happens, me and her hit it off, okay? Then her stupid loser friends ruin it because they're stupid loser friends, okay? Then she runs off and dyes her hair blonde and writes um, over my skin. Then, uh, I guess after Night for Freedom 2, she got it in her head that I was cheating on her, even though we weren't dating. And then she wrote that other song, Teach You. Then in 2019, around the same time I was tearing down the gym as Coach Jones was dying, you were writing Born Again. Okay? Then Coach Jones died, and you went on a fucking Chicago tour, or whatever the fuck. And, no, that was Magnetic Moon, COVID. The whole time, I'm getting, like, spam phone calls and people hanging up on me and shit like that. Like, who the fuck is this asshole, right? But anyways, the whole point... No, it's true I've had a thing for Tiffany Wang, Stephanie Young, whatever the fuck her name is, since the first time I saw her in 2012, 2013. I think it was I Got a Boy, because that stupid fucking Mormon bitch I was fooling around with who will never admit to it, but totally everyone knows because she was, like, begging me to buy her shit. Got, introduced me to, t uh, uh, she showed me what Girls' Generation was, and I was like, get the fuck out of my life. Tiffany Young is hot as shit, right? Anyways, so, um, when all that bullshit happened, um, you know, all that shit is true. So then, when I started doing, infil we'll just call it infiltration shit, Merc type, uh, honestly, it was like one of my last Merc gigs, because I didn't need to anymore, because the steady pay was better. But anyways, so, um, uh, yeah, I, dude, I, did, I literally had to, I literally had to sell my car, walk everywhere, melt ice, and drink it to sell the part. Why the fuck would I want to do that again at my age? That's shit you do in your 20s, maybe early 30s, okay? Anyways, I mean, I could. I don't want to, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, but... So, in case one of those slooty whores actually went for it, like, think about it. Think about it. What would be my out? What if, in the process of gathering information, one of those whores actually was like, yes, let's elope, let's run away together. Fuck. 
you know, I'd really like to, but there's this girl named Stephanie Tiffany Mi Young Wang, regular young in Korea, who I really have a thing for. And I would, I got to see that one through first. So we can't do that. We just got to finish what we're doing here. You see, you see, and the whole, the whole beauty of Tiffany being a K-pop, whatever the fuck was that she's in Korea. It ruins everything that I ran into you in 2018 in New York, because then I can't use that excuse anymore. But the thing is, it's not an excuse. I actually, that, all that shit was real to you. It was fake to everyone else because I was being paid to do that. Trust me. They're not paying me. They could not pay me enough to deal with Tiffany's bullshit. They, they just cannot. There's a reason why they invented slave contracts. No one wants to deal with this bullshit. Okay? Anyways. Anyways. So then... Continuing this thingy, from my point of view, I'm getting hangups and whatnot. Finally, Tiffany reveals herself to me to be Tiffany. Is mad at me for not remembering that I met her as Stephanie. Steals my niece's money and runs around to whore around with a bunch of dudes. And I don't give a shit what you did or didn't do. The fact that you did, the fact that you said you're too busy doing shit, filming and all that bullshit in Korea. And then you went to LA, Dallas, who the fuck? I think you went to Arizona, a bunch of other bullshit. Right? And now, all of a sudden, now she wants to tell me she's in the area. Now she wants to go meet up. I want to know what you did with the money. I want to know uh, why you did any of this bullshit. And I want to know why you've been stalking me. That's Based on that, Lucy, you got some explaining to do. But if I don't like any of the answers, fuck off. I really don't see why you did any of this bullshit. You probably should have stayed in LA. But... The only reason why I think she, if, if it's true, she came, it's not to see me. It's probably because the feds want to talk to her. But guess what? Guess what? So now I'm an AI producer. Now I produce AI music and AI art and AI. I'm, I'm going to make a comic first. I'm just playing around with it. I'm not, I don't want to do all the, like the, the video FX shit just yet. I'm just playing around with the free shit. First, I'm going to do a comic because it's easier. It's just like. The picture and some words, a new picture, some words. Then I'll get to like the animation shit later. Like I'm telling you, once I should have just, it's almost like I only got into cyber because I like money and people kept telling me I was good at hacking. And also they were like, if you do it that way, you can go to jail. If you do it this way, they give you a, oh, you can't go to jail, but whatever. Anyways, so today I went to go get my coffee, and there is this new hot young blonde bitch making my coffee, and I gave her my number, because we started talking, and I was like, don't you know, I'm an AI producer. I produce AI music and AI art and all this other bullshit, and I would like to turn your voice into music. I think you've got the gifts. And we started talking some more, and I did all the bullshit Tiffany did to me, this dumb whore. And all that bullshit. Because I told you, Tiffany, that you keep pissing me off, I'm going to use all that shit you did on me to some other bitch. Not just bitch, other bitches. All right? So I've told you for a year at this point in time, I don't want to do any of your bullshit. If you have something to say to me, say it. Just say it. You want to pout and cry and bitch and moan and try to make me jealous and all that bullshit. And all it did is going to get your ass arrested. All right. So if your ass is here, talk to the feds, talk to the feds. You might as well talk to me while you're here. I don't really think you're here. I think you're blowing more smoke up my ass. This is why I gave that blonde bitch my number. Have a nice day.